yeah just come down. if you're looking to study medical laboratory science in nigeria this 2024 or you know someone who is aspiring to study medical laboratory science in a nigerian university this 2024 then this video is definitely for you because in today's video i'm going to be you know just talking about everything you need to know about medical laboratory science so just stay with me right till the end of this video because yeah it's going to be really insightful and informative and if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is grace and yeah i'm actually a med lab student i'm in between graduation and you know actually becoming a certified scientist and yeah i make videos like this to help medical students you know really navigate their way through school and i also make videos to help people make informed decisions regarding their health so yeah before you say you want to study medical laboratory science you need to know what that profession entails what it is all about and i'm going to start by defining what medical laboratory science is as a profession and this is a profession that deals with analysis of bodily fluids and samples that is gotten from human beings and this analysis is done for the accurate diagnosis and treatment of diseases so that is what you know our course that is what medical library science really entails so yeah this is a professional course that has a regulatory body and this regulatory body they are you know they oversee you know the professional exams the indexing that is registration of students into the actual med lab body and also the induction and every other thing giving certificates to students and all that and the duration of this course is for five years so you'll be studying medical laboratory science in any Nigerian university for five years and this five years you know it is actually a whole lot because you get to learn a lot of things you are exposed to so many things and just before that like you should actually understand how you get admission into this school so yeah getting admission into med lab there's certain things that is required of you first of all your jam and you know your wire which you know by wire i mean you actually have to have you know five credits and above in certain science courses your mathematics biology physics chemistry and i guess english as well you should also be able to you know surpass your the cut off mark for the university that you are applying to that is the cut off mark for medical laboratory science and when you're admitted to study this course you know this five years it's like divided into two phases where you're in your preclinical phase and then you're in your clinical phase so this preclinical is basically your year one and year two and then the clinical phase starts from year three and this year three is like the main thing you're doing here is really lab postings plus your theoretical aspect so in your year one you get to learn you know things that you did like in your secondary school more like a continuation from secondary school mathematics biology physics chemistry and all that and then in your year two you're introduced to basic medicine this is where you learn certain things like anatomy physiology biochemistry and you know certain like an introduction to med lab as well just introducing you to med lab as a course and then from your year three you actually start getting exposed to laboratory posting you start doing courses like you know endocrinology chemical pathology pharmacology and all that so yeah this laboratory postings you can have it from your 300 level 400 level. Session. there are four main specialties in nigeria that is special to nigeria which is medical microbiology medical hematology clinical chemistry and also histopathology so in your final year you actually get to specialize in one of this you know specialties like you get to focus on one of these and this is dependent on your school for my school i had to you know just specialize and yeah i actually specialize in clinical chemistry but for some schools they can tell you to study everything in your final year or you specialize depending on the school that you intend to go to and there is also you know the professional exams that we write these professional exams are divided into two phases the um, first professional exam and the second professional exam so yeah this first professional exam it covers all the courses that is the four specialties that you actually learned in school that's the 
medical hematology, medical microbiology, histopathology, and clinical chemistry. Then in your second professional exam, you know, it would actually cover the only area that you specialize in. That is for me now who specialize in clinical chemistry, you know, I'll actually be writing an exam in clinical chemistry. And this exam is not just yeah, it's not just one of those exams, it involves, you know, multiple choice questions, involves practical and viva. So yeah, and also to just talk, viva is more like an oral exam where you come, you know, face to face with your examiner and he questions you and you give him an answer. So you get, it's quite interesting. I'm sure you must, you know, really be excited about all this. Yeah, by the time you're done, you know, with all of that, you will actually be inducted into the medical laboratory science profession where you're given your license to practice in you know, your certificate and all of that and you then go ahead for your one year internship so this internship is basically more like a continuing education where you get you know, to work in a laboratory that is real fact for one year and you're paid so it's a big deal so yeah, these are some of the things you need to know about this. So yeah, as someone who has finished, you know, I'm really encouraging you that is aspiring, that wishes to get admission into med lab, that yeah, don't give up. You know, you should actually put in your best. This course is very interesting. There are a lot of, you know, opportunities out there for medical laboratory scientists. I even have a detailed video on this topic, job opportunities for med lab students. Yeah, you find it in the link in my description box below so you feel free to check it out later so if you have more questions you know about med lab science as a course as a profession you know feel free to just drop it right there in the comment section and yeah i'll be sure to read it and you know give you a reply i really hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel like this this channel really caters for you who is an aspirant to you who is interested to you who knows somebody who knows somebody to you who is interested in your health as well it is really really dedicated to you so do well to subscribe before you leave here because i mean you'll be gaining a lot of things by doing that